Why so many volcanoes are erupting around the world? Is there something wrong? Is it going to end? Is it the apocalypse? It's coming, is it? We have the uh, Popocatabo, we have the Merapi, we have the uh, Fuego, we have the Shiveloch, we have the Semero, we have the Popocatabo again, and again, and again, and again. And the chart shows that actually all the eruptions are increasing. What that means? The plates on the earth are moving, and that's the reason volcanic volcanism happens. They go inside the earth, melt, and come up. But the rate of the movement of this, of this place is very slow, one and a half centimeter a year. So it's not fast. So it's, nothing can, can affect us in a daily or yearly basis, even in our lifetime. But the numbers of newspapers were rising since the 19th century. They're not declining. Number of the radio broadcasts increased. Now the numbers of the internet users have exploded all over the world. So we have more access to the internet. We have more access to smartphones and we get connected very well. Everything gets reported. And beyond that, we have more population. If you compare the dashed line with the number of the volcanoes, you see that uh, we have more people and more volcanoes erupting. That means there are more people in the areas that the volcanoes are going to erupt. They are related. What that means is that there are a lot of people watching things related to this disaster. Even this Sunday, I'm sharing you with you a secret. This is a chart of the videos when you are watching them. Sunday. Sunday blues is famous around the world. School kids know it. Workers know it. Everybody who has to go on Monday to work know it. They expect something happen and the world, so they don't need to go to the work. That is the Sunday effect for the number of the volcanoes being reported. Means you see them more. <laughs> do, you, do you believe that? And this can be one of the reasons that uh, it seems that the number of the eruptions of volcanoes are increasing.